Alright, what's up boys and girls, it's your boy Mike Chris, you already know, back on my channel. Here we go again with our midday quick 2. Manggugulo ulit ako sa inyong mga lunch breaks, sa inyong mga breaks, sa inyong mga uh, in-between classes, online classes, mga ganon. Yeah, dito ulit ako, manggugulo. You already know we're here to talk about the latest of basketball here in the Philippines. Kung ano man issue, kung ano man happenings, kung ano man transactions. Pag-uusapan natin yan here sa midday quick to natin. And I just want to thank everyone for continuing to support the channel. And man, I really love it how you guys are on my comment section. Talagang buong araw, man. Nagko-comments lang ako. Especially pag lumabas na yung mga segments natin sa gabi. Tuloy-tuloy na talaga yung comments natin. And of course, our subscribers keep going up because... Wala eh. Talagang tuloy-tuloy tayo dito sa channel natin. Just keep on bringing out and dishing out basketball content. So those who haven't subscribed, I don't know what y'all doing. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that notification bell to stay updated. Because you already know, we got a lot more basketball content coming your way. <laughs> Alright guys, so for today's Midday Quick 2, biglaan lang to guys. As in biglaan, as in ngayon lang. Kasi um, nag-message sa akin sa Twitter, nag-DM sa akin si Evan Nelly of the LaSalle Green Archers and he sent me a tweet na sinasabi that the NCAA, uh, this tweet came from, okay, this tweet was posted uh, 8.14 a.m. Ano oras na? Yeah, uh, less, less than an hour ago, okay? This is this is coming from JP Manahan, PH Sports Live Scores, a NC a N C A an an N C A P uh, J P uh, P H live scores an N C A A source ha hindi a N C A A source okay an N C A A source tells Sports Hunk that it will entail around 40 million pesos to conduct the 5 on 5 basketball bubble for N C A season 96. The 3x3 version would require would require 8 million. Okay, so I sent it to Evan Nelton. He was asking me like, what did I think of it? If it was too much? If it was okay? Kung mababawi ba yon? And that's crazy. That's crazy to think first and foremost. The 40 million pesos ang ilalabas ng NCA para makapag-bubble sila. That is, that's big money. Di joke yun. 40 million. I don't even know where that will come from. I don't know if the teams will split. I don't know if may, mag may mag-sponsor na malaking, I don't know, brand or kumpanya or GMA may say doon. I don't know, man. I don't know. But 40 million is crazy. Whoever, kung saan man meeting pag-uusapan na 40 million ang kailangan natin ibayad para mangyari to. hindi ko alam kung ano yung mga itsura ng mga nandun sa meeting na yun pagkatapos kasi where the hell do you find 40 million just like that i've i've been uh, i've been hearing that they're trying to get the NCAA back up by june july 40 million is not a joke man ngayon wala na ngayon wala na laman na ganun pala talaga kamahal mag bubble all right so what are my thoughts about this uh this kumbaga this discovery this revelation that 40 million ang kailangan ng NCAA para matuloy yung bubble nila this season um we'll see we'll see pag-usapan natin yan all right um shadow malaki Para sa akin, masyado malaki. Kasi, look, look at it this way. The UAP already cancelled. The UAP already said next year na sila. From what I heard, January at or February next year. And it sucks. It sucks. Because I miss the UAP as much as I miss the NCAA. Especially the NCAA. Because I've been close to the NCAA for a bit now. Kasi, nag-start ako mag-analyze. Talaga. Sa NCAA, season 91 pa lang, 2016. 2015, that was the first time that I covered the NCAA nung pagbalik niya sa ABS-C Ben coming from TV5. Okay? So, talagang NCAA is close to my heart. Especially na now, na dumating dun si Renz Abando. Nung syempre, when the news broke out that Renz Abando was gonna transfer to Letran, sobrang na-excite kami. Kaming panel. Because, you know, the NCAA is, is still the first collegiate league in the in the country. Kahit sabihin mong syempre, mas mainstream yung UAP. So, nami-miss ko rin yung NCAA. And when I heard that the NCAA might push through this year, medyo na ano na ako na, uh, Kasi ano ko eh, like I'm really COVID conscious. That's why I don't leave the house. I really am COVID conscious. So, uh, nung nakita ko na tatry pa din nila, especially after the UAP postponed theirs, medyo na ano na ako na paano naman nila gagawin yan. So now that I find out that it takes, it will take 40 million pesos to get through or for it to happen, medyo, and here's why ha, kasi, I'm a, I'm a be blunt with you. I'm a be frank with you guys. I covered the NCAA. I also covered the UAP. Alright? I know that the NCAA doesn't get as much viewership and as much support and as much, like, fandom as the UAP. Actually, alam naman natin lahat yun eh. Nag-disclaimer lang ako kasi sasabihin ko talaga yung totoo. Yun talaga. It doesn't get as much exposure. It doesn't get as much sales. Guys, ito ah. As a as an analyst, as a guy who who's on TV at at nandun ako, alam ko yung nangyayari sa production. Ito ah, sasabihin ko sa inyo. Pansinin niyo sa UAP. Pre-game pa lang, siguro mga apat na commercial na. Promise, I was once part of a pre-game kasi big game yun eh. Parang feeling ko ano yun eh. Um, final 4 ba ako? Nag-final 4 ba ako? Oo, nag-final 4 ako, USTFU. 
I was part of a free oh, of a free game. Libreng libreng laro. I was part of a free game. Na guys, siguro anim na commercial. Free game pa lang. Yung pinag-uusapan pa lang namin yung game. As in, kami ni Nico Ramos, parang wow, grabe to ha. Like, the pre-game itself took like 30 minutes. Like, start kami siguro mga 3.30. Para 4, start na yung game. Like, guys, pinag-uusapan namin yung game. Nag-intro si Nico. Nag-hire siya sa akin. Okay, dito na nga pala si Mike Reyes. The analyst I'm gonna work with for today here. For this game. Break. Commercial. Pagbalik, pinag-uusapan namin yung game. Commercial. Pagbalik, pinag-usapan namin yung last, ano nila, yung last two meetings nila, which was in the first round, second round, alam nyo yun, di ba? After nun, break. Pagkatapos nun, pinag-usapan namin yung FEU, yung sila lang, in-analyze namin, break. After nun, yung UST, tapos break. After nun, yung matchup, yung dalawang tao, tapos break. Like, siguro six, seven uh, commercial breaks in the pre-game. Tapos, pagdating ng game pa, puro TV timeout. Kasi sobrang daming sponsors ng UAAP. I'm sure napapansin nyo na rin na every play, may sponsor. Um, brand fast break brand inbound kahit nga inbound kahit ata foul meron eh di ba meron like may mga ganong ano segments or may mga ganong uh, ad, ano sponsor talaga ang UAP in the NCA guys <laughs> ang timeout sa UAP might take you 5-10 minutes seryoso as in makaka cellphone na ako makaka check na ako ng twitter makakapagkwentuhan na kami ng partner ko makakapagkwentuhan na kami ng tao dun si Pong Dukanes yung statistician ganun katagal ang break ang mga timeout sa UAP sa NCA. Okay? Pag timeout na pag timeout, hindi ko patapos nguyain yung fishbowls na kinakain ko, simula na ulit yung game. Kasi nga, wala masyadong sponsor sa NCAA. And I think hindi naman yun kagulat-gulat. Kasi nga, mas mainstream talaga ang UAP. Why did I say that? Because, baka hindi mo mabawi yung 40 million with sponsors. I don't know ah. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm basing this off on when I was with SNA. Hindi ko alam ko anong plano ng GMA. Okay, don't get don't 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 ask me. Uh, don't come at me and say baka iba doon. Iba baka malamang iba doon. Iba naman talaga eh, 'di ba? Pero nung nasa SNA, okay, medyo maihirapan 'yon if I was basing it on that. But if GMA comes in and may magawa silang something na talagang mataas yung viewership, then that's cool. Diba? That's a good job on them. I hope that happens. Pero from me, from a guy who's worked in the NCA and the UAP these past few seasons, medyo mahirap talaga. Kasi iba, iba, iba yung ano eh. Kumbaga, iba yung, how do you call this? Iba yung exposure talaga ng UAP Sensei. Iba yung sponsors. Unang-una yung sponsors. Iba ang layo. Plus! I hope y'all don't take this the wrong way. I'm just being real. I'm just being honest like how I always am on this channel. Ayaw kong maisip ninyo na nandedegrade ako. Ayaw kong maisip ninyo na sinasabi ko. Like, di ba? I'm just being real with you guys. The teams in the UAP, the teams, the teams, the schools, have more budget than the ones in the NCAA. Now, if you're gonna take that against me for saying that, then you're just, be, you're just being fake. I'm being real. Mas malaki budget ng schools sa UAP. So, alam mo na mas may kayang ilabas yung UAP schools than the NCAA schools. ba? That's one. The next thing is, mas konti din yung team sa UAP. Eight lang ang team sa UAP. Sampu sa NCAA. So, that's a bigger bubble, obviously, with ten teams. ba? So, I'm not saying na na dapat UAP magbubble. Hindi. Ang sinasabi ko lang, I would have believed it a little bit more lang if it was the UAP because of these factors. Unang-una, mas malaki budget ng UAP. Pangalawa, mas matindi viewership ng UAP, mas matindi sponsors ng UAP. So, mas madami ang magambag. Siyempre, yung mga brands, yung mga sponsors, di ba? And third, mas konting teams ng UAP. So, di ba? Mas feasible siguro. So, I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, the NCA pushes through with it. I don't know if... Hopefully, it's safe if they do. And if they if they do put out that much money, mabibili ba ko sa kanila? Mabibili ba ko sa kanila? Because they could be the first collegiate league or amateur league to get themselves in a bubble. Yung una... Yung una ngayon, kasi PBA pa lang eh. I don't know kung matutuloy yung MPBL ah. I don't know matutuloy yung bagong... Yung mga 3x3. Kasi yung mga 3x3, like, like what uh, JP was saying or Livescores was saying, 8 million lang for it to happen. But alam nyo naman guys, eh, we're all looking forward to 5 on 5. 5 on 5 ang gusto natin. 5 on 5 talaga ang labanan. I mean, I enjoy the 3 on the three, on three but... For a season na ganun kahaba, 5 on 5 ang gusto ko mapanood, man. I miss the NCAA, I miss the UAP, so hopefully it happens. But from what I've experienced the past few seasons, mm, not really so sure if they can do it. Hopefully they can, though. Don't get me wrong. I'm rooting for them. Hopefully they can. From what I saw or from what I've seen, mm, mahirap, mahirap, mahirap. <laughs> Alright, there you have it for our midday quick two. Hope y'all are having a good time with your lunch. Y'all are having a good day so far. It's gonna be a great afternoon for all of us. I have a couple of interviews. Mamaya maya lang. And yeah, I appreciate you guys for you know sticking around for another quick two. 
sa gitna ng araw ninyo, alam ko na enjoy nyo to, kaya inaaraw-araw ko na din, looking for issues, looking for topics na pwede natin pag-usapan, and I appreciate every single one of you who keep on viewing and supporting this channel because kung wala kayo, hindi ko itutuloy to. Maniwala kayo sa akin. You keep pushing me to put out content as much as I can because you guys are also in the comment section telling me to. Alright? So I appreciate all of you to those who haven't subscribed. I don't know what y'all doing. Midday quick twos, every segment na lawalabas na may miss ninyo dahil hindi kayo nakasubscribe. Kung nanonood naman kayo regularly, ano ba naman yung subscribe? Subscribe na guys. Alright? I'ma see y'all later tonight. My name is Mike Reyes. Take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Peace and love. And y'all have a good day.